Make sure you've completed the retrieval practice on Microsoft Forms before watching the rest of this video. The link to this is found under the retrieval practice section of this assignment on Microsoft Teams. As you watch this through this video, it's very important that you make notes. This could be in the form of bullet points or a mind map. This will aid you in answering your, the questions in the student activity. Today we are going to start a brand new topic at GCSC. We are now on topic 3, distinctive landscapes. And on the screen you can see the list of the lessons that we are going to go through. Today we are going to look at describing landscapes. The learning purpose is to be able to explain what makes up a landscape in order to apply this knowledge to a range of landscapes in the UK. The success criteria is to describe what a landscape is, including built and natural landscapes, describe the different elements of a landscape, and apply the elements learnt to analyse a landscape in the UK. We first need to look at what a landscape is. Wherever you are right now, you are located within a landscape. If you look out of your nearest window, you may be able to see part of it. A landscape is an area of land and all its visible features, seen features which make up the surface of the land. We are surrounded by them and we are part of them. They are where we live our lives and our lives affect them. Landscapes are made from a combina combination of landscape features called elements. These elements can be put into four groups. The first group are natural or physical elements. Natural or physical elements include landforms such as mountains, coastlines and valleys, Water, such as rivers, lakes and the ocean. Soils, different types of geology, which are different types of rock. And climate, which is the average pattern of weather. The next group are human elements. These include buildings, infrastructure, which are public works such as roads, bridges, water supply, sewers. Communication, such as pylons, industry and farmland. The next group are biological elements. These include flora, which is a term for plants and trees, fauna, which is a term for wildlife, habitat, habitats and people themselves. The last group are variable elements and the word variable means temporary, it will change. These can include the weather, clouds, any sounds you hear and any smells that you smell. Geographers study landscapes at a range of scales. We can study them from the local, which might be a town park and all the visible features of it, to the regional, which might be a range of hills like the Pennines, which extends into several UK counties. Landscapes can also sometimes extend across national boundaries. So we can see here the Amazon rainforest, it is, the landscape is spread along Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Guana, Suriname and French Guana. When there are more human than physical elements visible in a landscape, we use the term built landscape to describe it. This could include a city centre, a retail development or a business park on the edge of town. Landscapes can be described as being dynamic and the word dynamic it means that they are not constant but they change. Familiar views can be altered by the introduction of new housing or new infrastructure such as roads, railways or electricity pylons. Some people feel strongly enough about the impacts of changes like this that they actively campaign against proposed changes. The landscape on your screen at the moment is a dynamic landscape. We have a before on the left and an after on the right. And this is the area of Lawley Village. This shows a dynamic landscape in that it has changed. We have the introduction of buildings, of infrastructure such as roads. Where the majority of the landscape is made up of natural or physical elements, we can talk about a natural or physical landscape. In reality, however, there are very few parts of the UK that haven't been changed by people over the centuries. An area of woodland that might look ancient was probably originally planted by people and would have been managed by them ever since. Landscapes can also change from one type to the other. In reality, however, it's more likely that the natural landscapes will become built landscapes than the other way around. 
An important part of any landscape is the shape and height of the surface landforms that can be seen. The term landform can be defined as any physical feature of the Earth's surface that has a recognisable shape and is made by natural causes. So any part of our landscape that has been created by nature and has a recognisable shape is called a landform. This could include mountains, caves and waterfalls to name just a few landforms. The image on the screen shows examples of other natural landforms we find around the world. Landforms help provide the overall character of a landscape, as well as affecting its soils, climate and the way in which people use it. Exit this video now and complete the Word document that is found in the output section of your assignment. This is called Student Activity Describing Landscapes.